Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to create something new and trendy and leopard print is back in a game. So that's why I created this dress. I really hope you like it and enjoy. To create a pattern I'm using basic pattern for bodice. I'm going to take uh, to mark 7 cm from the bust line and adding on those 7 cm 4 cm because of the elastic band. Then I'm going to add extra 8 cm on the middle front uh, just to create more volume to the top. Uh, I'm taking away all of the incisions and I'm marking about 9 cm from the waistline. This is where I'm going to place the elastic band. For the back side, I'm doing exactly the same. For the sleeves, I'm going to um, measure from the sleeve line about 16 centimeters. This is where I'm going to place the last in band, and then I'm going to add 7 centimeters outwards and 4 centimeters to connect the front and the back piece of the sleeves. I'm go also going to add 6 centimeters extra uh, to get my sleeves a little bit longer, and from the sides, I'm going to add 20 centimeters to create the bell sleeves. <music> the skirt I'm going to create a rectangle that is going to be 50 centimeters thick and 88 centimeters long. Be aware that one side is going to be double folded. For the loop, the first one is going to go underneath the breast, so this one is going to be around 130 centimeters, uh, and the thickness of all the loops will be about 2.5 centimeters. For the next loop, is going to go around our shoulders, so the thickness is once again 2.5 centimeters, and the length is 146, 48. Uh, then the third loop is around the waistline, and it's 127 centimeters long, and two little loops that is the ones that are going to to go on our um, sleeves. We are also going to create a little ribbons and the thickness once again is 2.5 centimeters and the length is 80 and you will need four of them. And here are all of the pieces. For the material you will need chiffon fabric, mine has leopard print, uh, be aware that it doesn't, uh, it isn't that uh, see-through because you don't want people to see your panties, so let it be a little bit thick than usual. You will also need your pattern that I showed you in the beginning of this video, a lot of elastin band, I think about about 2 meters of elastin band, you will need pins. Having web, this is an optional, so you don't have to have it. Matching thread, scissors, measuring band, a lighter, pen or a crayon. The first step, as usual, is to place the pattern on the fabric. Be aware that only back piece of a dress is double folded. Measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out the pattern. Take front piece and back piece of the dress and place it one above the other, then sew the sides, and only the sides. Then on the front piece of a dress, fold about 2 cm to create a nice edge and sew straight line. Moving on to the sleeves, fold them in half and sew the sides of the sleeves. Once the 
these leaves are sewed on, you're going to flip them inside out and attach them with front and back piece of a dress. Now it's time to create a loop around our shoulders, but before I do that, I decided to zigzag the edges of the upper line and uh, then I will be folding this to create a loop about uh, the thickness of my elastin band. So I will be placing the fold and about I think two centimeters, two and a half centimeters thickness. Then I will place my elastin band above just to see where I have to sew two lines. <laughs> And this is what I meant about sewing two lines so you can place the elastin band through it. Uh, so now I'm going to, going to flip the dress inside out and I have to sew much more loops uh, because this dress has uh, elastin band around the shoulders, on the sleeves, underneath the breast and on the waistline. So I'm going to have to take the little pieces, zigzag them before I attach them and then just place them where they has to be. And here I will be using the lighter just to light tiny little threads because chiffon does fridge out a lot and I don't want a lot of threads on my body so that's why I decided to take a little lighter and just light them up. Like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have to create loops underneath the breast, on the waistline and on the sleeves. So here I'm just going to show you how to place the little band where the loop is going to go. Um, and you have, of course you're going to sew two lines so you can place the elastic band through. And that is it. Moving on to the down piece of a dress, so called skirt, I'm just going to flip the fabric inside out and sew the side. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the bottom piece of a dress and the uh, top piece of a dress and place it one on the other just to attach it together. Just to see it more up close, I created tiny wrinkles just so the whole fabric will fit together with the top piece. Now we are going to create the last loop which is on, on our waistline and once again I'm going to zigzag the sides of this and then I will be just placing it on the waistline. So now that we made all of the loop, it's time to place the elastin band through all of them. So 
So this dress has also four ribbons at the front so you can create a knot and what I did here is I just folded in half, so a straight line right in the middle and flip them inside out with a needle that has a little hook. <laughs> Then I took two ribbons and placed them right where the shoulders are, on the, where the shoulder elastin band is. And then the second one is right underneath that other elastin band, which is on the underneath the breast. So I just placed them and then I sewed them together with an elastin band. For the edges you can use the hemming whip and just fold it and iron it, but I decided to actually just zigzag the edges. And yes, this is the finishing product. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like always, if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do next, please send me the links or the images on my social media. All of my links are in the description bar. Feel free to follow me on my blog and Instagram to see photos of my daily life and yes, that would be it. I really hope you liked this video and see you till next time. Hey everyone!